Anxiety and depression are a normal response to cancer treatment. And in fact, most people at some point during treatment feel anxious and depressed. The important thing to know is that most of the time, these feelings may fade with time. Different people experience anxiety and depression and it may feel different in their body. When you're initially diagnosed, it's, it's kind of surreal. You're, you're, um, you have a range of emotions, you're frightened, you're scared, your body has betrayed you. Afterwards, it's um, when you're told you don't have to come back for three months, it's kind of frightening. You start worrying, looking over your shoulder, waiting for it to come back, or uh, perhaps it spreads someplace else in your body. And it was a total separation anxiety from that helpful healing environment and that took me by surprise. I discovered along the way is that um, you may reach the end of your treatment path, but your heart and your soul don't get there um, as fast as the end of the chemo session. So for me, fatigue and depression and anxiety were all kind of this big ball of wax and it was hard for me to give myself permission to rest and take time for myself and do what I needed to do. Anxiety is hard to identify. Sometimes you may experience a shortness of breath, nausea, you may cry all the time, you may have heart palpitations, or you may get a thought that you just can't get out of your head. Your medical team can help you, but there are also techniques that we know will help you and help support you through this anxiety. I journaled. I journaled how I was feeling, why I was feeling this way, and like potentially kind of what's been going on and outside activities like such as school and homework and dealing with what I was dealing with at the age that I am and trying to, I guess, feel like a normal young adult. If I feel anxious, I try to just look at that and say, all right, anxiety, come on in and sit, but you can only stay five minutes. The more active you can stay, I think it helps you emotionally. Um, if you, if all you're going to do is sit home and, and watch TV and think about it, that's really tough because then the mind starts to wander more and you start thinking in bad thoughts and, and that's, that's never a good thing. Depression is another common side effect among cancer survivors. Depression affects about a quarter of cancer patients after cancer treatment. For most people, this is called situational depression, and that's because it's because of the situation that you're in. For most people, it gets better over time, but for some, it gets worse. I tell patients a lot of time, depression is like an energy. It can move in just as easily as it can move out. You may recognize if you start to have these feelings of depression and you're feeling down over a couple weeks, that's when we really want you to reach out and get support. Some of those symptoms of depression, you may feel really sad, you may be tearful, you may feel helpless or hopeless. Some people deal with a lot of fatigue and it affects their sleep. They sleep all the time or they can't sleep at all. They may feel short-tempered with their loved ones. Um, they may have changes in their appetite. Um, they may eat more than usual or less than usual. What's most important is that you know that there is help to support you with these issues, as well as if these issues ever get to the point where you feel like you might take your own life, you need to call 911 right away. Do not wait too long to get the symptoms of your depression taken care of. Depression can overwhelm your ability to cope. You can't make it go away by feeling positive. It's important that you seek out treatment for clinical depression. These may include medications, counseling, or a combination of both. The important thing to know is these treatments are very effective and can help you feel better soon. Asking for help is not a weakness. Anxiety, depression, and emotional side effects are just as real as physical side effects. And they can be just as troublesome, but they are also very treatable. If you need help, or you're struggling, please reach out to your medical team. We are here to support you through this time. Remember, you're not alone. We come to work every day to help you and support your family. Rather than wait to celebrate, when I'd been through all my treatments and I'd been through everything and I'd clearly survived it, was to celebrate the small victories. 
That ability to celebrate in the moment elevated me through the tougher times. So if I had a great doctor visit, or I got through a difficult treatment, or I had a meal with family or friends that mattered to me, I got to hug someone I loved, or someone who found out about the cancer reached out to me that I hadn't heard from in a while, all those things were small celebrations that lifted my spirits, that helped me through the difficult times.